in this video I will be showing you guys how you can actually rank insanely fast in Call of Duty World War 2 zombies I will also show you guys like some numbers of course I actually tested out because in the game you don't know how many XP you're getting and yes I'm gonna try to explain the ranking system as the best I possibly can and I will also let you know like what you unlock and what do you get by leveling up in Call of Duty World War 2 zombies so first of all I'm just gonna try to explain the ranking system if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one I will have a ton of videos over the course of the next year and everything like that so definitely make sure you are subscribed and hey let's just get this started now first of all I just jumped in the game of course quickly want to let you know that in the game even if you pause you don't have or you don't see how many XP you're left so you can actually rank up or get to the next rank that was something that we have seen in Black Ops 3 and of course when you survive a round in Black Ops 3 it will tell you how many XP you got and you can kind of like know how much XP you got but hey in this one you barely get anything you basically get none of the statistics in this whatsoever so basically what I did I actually jumped in the game I actually killed one zombie by mailing him I backed out and I checked how many XP I got and boom the game told me I got 100 XP and in the game it told me that I got 130 score slash points now bear in mind that is something that's not gonna get you ranked up in the game only the XP will get you ranked up and guess what I actually jumped in the game once again I killed a zombie and I headshot him boom backed out and the game told me I got 75 uh, XP and this is similar to Black Ops 3 but there are some uh, statistic that I will go over that are a little bit different and there are some statistic that I, I personally don't know and I'll let you know what I don't know and what I know and everything like that and if you actually body shot a zombie you will get 50 points and if you leg shot a zombie, hey, you will get 50 points once again. Yes, I, I, I actually tested that out and everything like that. And if you open a door, you will get 250 XP. And if you buy a gun, then you get zero. And in terms of like round bonus ending points, or if you end the round, how much bonus points you will get, that's a little bit different. I actually, what I did was I actually killed six zombies. I mail it all of them. So technically six kills equals 600 points. And I actually survived the fir first round. I backed out and I only had 600 XP, meaning the round bonus wasn't there. Now in Black Ops 3, you would normally get 50 XP for your first survival of the round or I'm not sure how I actually say this but uh normally you would get 50 XP for surviving the first round in Black Ops 3 right but check this out I went back in the game once again and this time I killed 15 zombies melee only and survived two rounds so I survived the first round and I survived the second round and I was on round three but I didn't kill any zombies on round three basically I killed 15 zombies so that means I will have 1500 XP for all the zombie killed and I backed out and this time around I got 1550 XP meaning I got 50 XP for surviving round two and at this moment I haven't really tested out by actually surviving three rounds I guess I will but and if I do I will actually have it somewhere on the screen mentioning how many XP I got and everything like that but this is just uh, how much XP you get and this is basically the ranking system in this thing called Call of Duty World War 2 zombies now of course I personally think that if you revive players you can get some XP but I cannot confirm that because of course I haven't tested and even if I try to test it out it's really not gonna be feasible or it, it, it's not impossible but it, it's not really something that I can do and it, it's like it's gonna require me to test it out multiple times to make sure and everything like that because in the game you cannot even see how many XP you got once again right and of course if I pack a bunch of gun I don't know how many XP I'm gonna get I feel like you do get XP for pack punching your gun so that's gonna be something that you should do all the time but this is just like the ranking system now let's check out what you actually get for unlocking certain ranks now it's very sort of like easy to explain because first of all you have 45 rounds or not rounds but levels actually your ranks and after you get your level 45 I have not personally but once you get to that you can actually prestige and of course if you put one and one together um, um <laughs> basically we're gonna have 10 prestiges and I'm assuming when we get DLC they are gonna raise the bar and maybe we can prestige and we can get to 20 prestige or maybe level 1000 some sort of equivalent is going to be something that we will see in the future that's exactly what I'm assuming and I hope that happens but hey guess what there are only 45 ranks and if you go into your weapon kits or you try to customize your weapons now notice this is a little bit different now in black ops 3 you would have to rank up your guns individually each and every gun needed to be ranked up individually for you to actually put attachments on 
one. Now in this one, let's say this gun for example, I feel like this gun only required me to be on rank 43 in order for me to unlock the last attachment and guess what? If I'm on rank 9, 10 or 11 or 12, uh, whatever gun I want to have attachments on and let's say if I want to have quick draw. Now quick draw is going to be unlocked fairly early, right? So that's going to be available on all the guns. I'm not sure what round or what rank quick draw unlocks on, but at this moment I'm on round or not round, but rank 9 and I have unlocked quick draw on all of my guns. So if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. And basically if you are rank 45, that means you will have all the guns attachment unlock. I mean, in in a way it's kind of good, but at the same time I personally personally like ranking up each and every gun individually. At least I absolutely love the shit out of Black Ops 3. I actually ranked up all the guns individually. I don't know how you guys feel about it. That's personally how I feel about it. I feel like this is gonna be a great year for zombies. And Infinity Ward, if you're listening, make this shit like Black Ops 3. That's kind of like my two cents. But I want to know your opinion for sure down in the comments. But now let's actually move over to what you can do to rank up fast. And there are several different ways for sure. Now the first one would be kind of like survival surviving a lot of rounds and everything like that and I would suggest playing the final right for this one but there is another way that is really really sick which I'm gonna get to it in in just a little bit but the first way of course is gonna be you playing the final right survive as much rounds as you possibly can and I'm assuming if I follow this of course I cannot tell you this for sure because I don't see the numbers behind I hope infinity ward imp not infinity ward but sledgehammer games implement this but I feel like after you survive round 20 then it's gonna be like hey you get 2,000 points for every round you survive after round 20. That's exactly what I'm assuming because that's how it was back in Black Ops 3. But it can be a little different and I hope it's different because in World War 2 Zombies, it is a little bit harder to survive high rounds. So I hope that's the case. But I really think if you pack punch guns, you can also get XP, but I'm not totally sure. So make sure you guys pack punch guns. And for the most part, try to get as much melee kills as you possibly can on early rounds. And of course, later on in the rounds, you don't really want to melee zombies because that's gonna get you killed but you can always try to get headshot because that will get you 75 xp instead of 50 xp and of course if you get more headshots that means you can kill zombies faster and of course you get additional xp and opening doors would be necessary of course if you're playing the final ride you got a bunch of doors so definitely do a rundown open all the doors and everything like that and it's just gonna be a very good meme now the best way to rank up in world war 2 zombies is 100 percent going to be you playing Groston house now check this out now before I say anything I, I really feel I really do believe that even if we get DLC maps in the future I feel like they're not gonna be able to beat Groston house I hope I do get proven wrong because I do want DLC maps to kind of like take over and everything like that But get this Groston house is that map where like you get zombie spawn in ridiculously fast Like there's no break first of all you're gonna jump in on the map and hey I quickly want to let you know you need to unlock this map first and I will let you know how you can actually unlock talk about this in my last video which I will link it down below because there are multiple changes made to Groston House. There is a local version of course that will get you zero XP so if you just want to cancel that there's a prologue version and there's also a solo version. Now I'm talking about this solo version and of course there are multiple changes that actually went over in that video. I will link it down in the description below and it's up on the channel. I have a thumbnail up on the screen as well but you want to unlock the solo version. Now the solo version the only way you can unlock this is by actually completing the main easter egg for the final rank and you need to just complete the casual easter egg which is basically you completing the achievement or you getting the achievement of fireworks or you gotta get the fireworks achievement rather so that's exactly what you need so get that and after you get that of course you're gonna unlock this map called Groston House it's like such a small ass map and the only thing you got in this map is of course like a mini easter egg and if you do that you can actually get the mystery box to spawn in and all you gotta do is like shoot these ladders or ladders don't know how you pronounce that shit but uh, hey, you gotta do that. That's a mini easter egg and after you do that you will unlock the secret room and behind that you got a mystery box. So of course you can get like good guns out of that. But you mainly want to have the combat shotgun. Make sure you got Juggernaut aka the armor. I also explained the whole Juggernaut, the health regeneration shit. Uh, in this video I will have a thumbnail up on the screen and a link down in the description below if you guys want to learn more about that. But hey, get that. Get all those random perks. Make sure you got all the perks. Make sure you got the combat shotgun. And to start this off, make sure 
sure you buy the STG because that can actually get you a lot of points. And once again, STG is a wall gun. So you should have no problem whatsoever. Now, when you start on this map, basically you're gonna have around 10 seconds break for like, let's say you survive the first round, you're gonna have 10 seconds. And as soon as you start progressing, you will see there will be like five seconds break. And after that, it will be like after round 10, it won't even feel like you're actually wasting time. It's like you kill the last zombie and the thing goes the next zombie will spawn in and you just gotta kill him and of course this is all about you getting killed and of course the more kills you get the more XP you're going to gain and of course the more rounds you survive thus having more XP which is absolutely insane and I don't think any strategy will be able to beat this one but hey I hope I do get proven wrong and if I do get proven wrong I will have part two of this video coming on my channel very soon as well but check out some other videos on the screen smash a like if you guys did enjoy this video subscribe if you're new and I'll see you very freaking soon.